and in her second year, her team tripled in size to 10 students. <laughs> Not only that, but suddenly students from Tuskegee Valley were placing regularly, and she qualified four of her 10 students to the state tournament. Of course, they say that the third time is a charm, and it certainly was true for Tuskegee Valley. During year three, under Carrie's leadership, the team had 17 members, qualified 10 of those members to the state tournament, and one to the national tournament. Of course, that doesn't compare to what her team accomplished this year, year four. The current Tuskegee Valley team now boasts over 20 team members, and will have 15 students representing the team at the state tournament this year. Another example of this year's success was seen at the Slovenia Invitational where she had 10 semifinalists. Finally, just recently, Tuskegee Valley qualified two students to this year's national tournament. The Tuskegee Valley team has become a true competitive force. And Carrie, the rest of Canton, is a little nervous. <laughs> in fact, most people think they're a long-established team, but in actuality, their success is due to the passion and dedication of Carrie Spina. In addition to coaching accolades, Carrie took on the responsibility of hosting a tournament during her second year as a coach. She has now held three tournaments with great success. Furthermore, fellow coaches recognize her as an essential and trusted member of their TAB staffs. Finally, Carrie's influence is not limited to the Tuskegee Valley program, but through her work in the Canton theater scene, she has become an ambassador for all programs. By encouraging students she works with to get involved in their home speech and debate programs. And in this way, she has become an advocate for students because she truly understands the lasting impact speech and debate has on their lives. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the winner of the inaugural Linda Miller Coaching Service Award for Excellence, Carrie Spina. Yeah. 